All right, guys, today I'm gonna to be upgrading this laptop right here to another SSD. He's gonna be gaming on this thing. We're gonna get it rocking and rolling. This is an Asus Tough laptop model FA506QM-EB93. This has uh, a RTX 3060, a uh, Ryzen 9, and, but it only has one MVME drive in it right now, but we're gonna put two in this sucker right now so he can get his stuff going and be able to have a lot of games on this thing. Cause this guy works out of town, uh, out of, he travels a lot and he's gonna be at home and wanting to play some games in different places and areas he's at. So his desktop's at home. So when he's on the go, this is gonna be his baby. All right, let's get right into it. <laughs> Alright, let's flip this over right here. I got a couple screws. I love this. It should be easy. I fix it, the old set. Still got the old one, still rocking and rolling with it. Okay, I'll get all these bits out. There we go. And we're gonna put it be putting a heat sink. We're gonna be upgrading them to the Samsung drive. So this is the Samsung. 980 Pro, two terabyte. We also are gonna, you know, do the firmware update on it, of course. We wanna make sure, and we got a heat sink for it. Keep it nice and cool in this laptop. I will have a link to all these down in the description. The heat sinks, at least, I've used these lots of times. They work great, they're really good, so this is the right way to get them. So let's get into this now. Got all my stuff kind of unboxed there. We got one screw here in the middle. Take it out, big long one, we'll put that over here. Got the side ones. Okay, is it gonna pop out or do I have to pull it out? Let's see. Pull it out, all right, and that looks like the same size. Perfect. So for all these middle section, we'll call this the middle section now. I don't wanna make sure to put it in the wrong section. I gotta make sure they're all kind of you know, in that area, if I get this out, oh, come on here. We will get this, we will get this. Uh, I don't like having long fingernails at all. It just bugs the heck out of me, so I cut them. So you know, you get that feeling, you're trying to get it, it's right against the nail and the thing and it stings. Yep, that's what happens. Okay, now the top ones, side corners are probably gonna be different. We'll put those in this tray over here. We'll do this section over here. All right. Then the middle one's here. This is my first time trying to open up this laptop. We'll put these on these for the other side. I've never opened this one before, so I'm doing the most obvious thing first. We will see how it goes. <laughs> Shouldn't be that explanatory, especially with these days. You get a good laptop. I remember back in the old day, you had to take out the stupid keyboards a lot of times and pry them off. That was annoying as heck. Now we're working on the bottom corners. These are definitely gonna be shorter. We'll put these in the bottom. I've got this parts mat so I don't lose my stuff. Always like it. Let's see here. Oh man, come on. Little corner right there. Okay, there's one. All right, now this should be the last ones here. Unless I'm missing something, I don't think so. Put this up a little longer for the center above it. Put those above the other ones. So now they're all separated. If I get this, there we go. Good. All right. I'm gonna get my pry tool. Oh, as my screwdriver lands on the ground here. Fun, fun. See if I can do the toe pickup. See if I can do the toe pickup. Got it. All right, put that there, stay. That's your home. All right, next we're gonna do, get my pressure. Kind of see if this kind of clips. If there's any clips on this sucker. See the edge. I'm gonna go for the edge. here first. 
Hmm. Let's see what we got here. These are always fun the first time you go to do these. Okay, so looks like I have to go here maybe first. Open this sucker up here. Uh, let's make sure. No, let me make sure though. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get our smudger tool. Oh, fun, fun in the sun. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Looked a lot easier than I thought at first. I'll bring my little smudger in there. It's the top ones. It's the top ones. Okay, now that I know where it is. Okay. Go the top way, work my way around. Let it fall apart. No, don't let it fall apart, but as in just let it do its thing. Don't even press really hard. Just kind of slide it up there and wiggle the side to side, and it'll open the door. The Pandora's gate. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see here. There we go. Wax off. Got the heat sinks right here for this sucker. We got the RAM under here. Uh, okay, first of all, what we wanna do before we do anything is disconnect this battery right here. Wanna make sure we disconnect this cable. So I'm gonna do my side, little side, little side to side, and there we go. Battery is disconnected. All right, now we're safe to work. All right, next thing is we need to find the M.2 slots. Looks like one's here. Very interesting. So the tile's right there. And then where's the other one? Look, 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 look. Oh, tell me it's under the battery. That would be annoying. <laughs> oh, it's right now. Let's see. Interesting. Let's take the battery out. Fun, fun in the sun. That'll be very interesting if this is under the battery. Battery screws and the magnetic slot. Silver ones down below, black ones on top. I actually say, I should say silver one bottom right. Exit stage right. Get it going. Let's see, got this one here. Ugh. There we go. Battery should just come up now. As I drop it, pull the lioness. Good news is it just hit the plastic. All right, sometimes these things are hidden. They are hidden. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Like I said, oh my God. The other SSD is literally right freaking here. Well, that was dumb of me. If I just paid attention and looked, open my eyes all right so let's put this sucker back in uh, <laughs> there we go make sure everything's lined up oh my gosh see what happens and you're not paying attention when you're trying to do a YouTube video you mess up put the screws back where they go I'm glad I found it though. I was kind of flipping out. I knew it had an SSD, but I hadn't opened this one before. 
<clears throat> I just gotta remember these covers hide stuff. Screwing the battery back in. Last final screw for the battery. These batteries are really easy, so if you're recharging, you know, you, you wear up wear out this battery, you can replace them very easily. Alright, so I'm gonna put the end dot two here. I wanna look at the case, how it's gonna go on. It's gonna go on like yeah, that's the bottom, so yeah, so which part? Okay. We're gonna put this on anyways. Put the cooler on, the SSD. There we go. Let's see here. Spudge it up, actually. go we got the SSD right here the little chewing gum stick all right now you can keep the label on if you want I'm just gonna keep it on for this one or you can take it off it just depends on the build this isn't my build so I'm gonna leave it on for him just in case he wants to return it or whatever he knows what it is I if it was my build I know what it is so I don't have to worry about that so we're just gonna make sure and do it that way all right, so next, what we're going to do is I just want to see the angle of how this is going to go in. There we go. It's gonna go. Yep, exactly right there. Perfect. All right. Time to put the heat sink on the SSD. Okay. Get some of my tweezers. This comes the fun part. Got to be a surgeon. Oh, why are you stuck in here? Oh, well, that was weird. Okay, whatever. All right. Put the SSD on plastic. It'll be fine. We'll pull off. We're going to pull off the... There it is. The film. I like to kind of hold it like this. So my hands aren't really touching it so it doesn't get dirty because the other side is this. It will kind of just line it up. And pull it off the back as we're doing it. Kind of steer it as it's like, you know, a wiggling tail. All right. Next, we will get the copper shim. And either way, we will put this right like that. Okay, yep, it'll be like that. Perfect. So now I'll take this shim off. Make it do a little surgical work again. Gonna just get that lip very nice. Oh, you dirty rat, you. And you slip down a little. Okay. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it and zoom. Perfect. Then I'll put the shim on. Excellent. Now the fun part, as in not fun part, I've got to put these little bracers on. It's always a pain in the rear. These look a lot fatter than they did. This must be a newer version because they. Last time I did it, they weren't as fat. Oh God, oh, there's two of them on here. I wonder, go down the back way this time and slide it up maybe. These things are so annoying to get on, but this is a good cooler, good price, very good price, very good price. Not bad at all. Let's see here. There's one on. You usually only need two. You really do not need three of these suckers on there. Okay. There we go. And then let's undo the screw for it. Put it in right there. 
here. Put the screw in. And there it is. We got a new SS NVMe drive in the laptop. Now all we gotta do Oh, put the make sure you put the battery cable back in. Okay. Excellent. Put this back in here. Kind of just clip it down, it'll just pop right in. All right. And let's see if the magic happens. All right, we'll fire her up. Let's see. <laughs> and show me the way. Sometimes it takes a minute for the first boot. Oh, wait, did I power? You know what it might be? Let me get the power cord for this thing. I forgot, I haven't, oh, there it goes, Never mind. I don't know if it has battery. It's been like on for I think a week or something, or, or at least not being used. So I don't know if it drained out or not, but yeah, it's loading up right now. Search for incredible, as I can show you. This computer's not set up or anything yet, so it really doesn't matter whose name or whatever you're seeing because I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. So now we'll go see if that new drive is in there. I haven't even customized windows yet, so the star bar's in the center, which I do not like. Uh, oh yeah, let's just go to, actually, yeah, this PC. Let the device manager right click on it and it dying which is very important we need to make sure we do that <laughs> we don't want that happening uh just the new firmware on it and then this guy is ready to rock and roll this is a quick upgrade it's going to be great i have to reformat this remember every time you get a computer or a laptop you always want to just wipe it clean wipe all this garbage and crap and freaking avast and all this stuff stupid norton and all of this stuff mcafee whatever get rid of it all all it is is crap it slows down your computer so i don't care who you get your computer from unless it's custom built and usually they don't put that they don't put that stuff on there unless they're just they just want to make you mad and they do it anyways but most custom brands out there aren't going to do that it's always it's the store-bought ones you go to the store you pick it up or you buy it from online from a retailer they're usually going to have it the custom built ones and stuff like that or people that are like retailers but do custom built work they ain't going to put any of that blowware stuff on so you usually don't have to worry about that at all but yeah i need to wipe this clean but hey if you and your family like these videos please like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos i appreciate this um i get excited every day doing this but i hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day peace out and i'll catch you in the next video Thank you.